What's new with you today? How did you feel about your family? About your community? And about your society? It's easy for you now to deal with them? Are you happy with having with them right now? Are you, are you able to appreciate yourself now? Oh, that's fantastic. This day, we're going to talk about the continuation of our discussion on how we'd be able to appreciate ourselves. Now, in the previous discussion, we've been talking about the sociological view of self, and this is the continuation. And today, we are going to talk about the anthropological view of self. According to Catherine Ewing, 1990, the self is a physical creature with psychological functioning and social characteristics. The description defected the self as a collection of psychological, biological, and cultural processes that exist both implicitly and explicitly in the mind. The implicit and explicit parts of the self were theorized, where theorized by neuroscientist Joseph Ledox way back 2002. According to Camp 2012, the explicit self consists of those parts of the self that you are consciously aware of, whereas the implicit self consists of those that are not immediately visible to your consciousness. The term of level of consciousness was coined by Sigmund Freud. He was a notable psychologist. If you can still remember in the previous discussion, also we've been talking about the important contribution of Sigmund Freud to ourselves. Can you still remember the three? The id, the ego, and the superego. If you're going to talk about the id, the instinct. If you're going to talk about the ego, the reality, and if you're going to talk about superego, it has something to do with morality. Now, in order for us to grasp fully on how the anthropological view of self really intervene into our individual life or lives. So let's define first, what is anthropology? Human anthropology is the study of people. It focuses on comprehending the human being in relation to cultural and biological processes in order to develop one's own self. In addition, in view of human experiences as a natural interaction, including genetic inheritance, which determines an individual's potentials and nurture in relation to the sociocultural environment. Furthermore, biological and cultural factors play an important role in developing the soul. Distinct societies have different perspectives of the soul. There are two, namely the egocentric and sociocentric. Let's try to define one by one. Para mas lalo mong maintindihan at maunawaan Ano tong tinatawag na egocentric at ano tong tinatawag na sociocentric. Pag sinasabi natin egocentric is concerned with the individual rather than the society. Tayo, ako muna, sarili ko muna. Pangaralan ko muna sarili ko. Turuan ko muna sarili ko. Bago ako makipaghalubilo sa society, para mas lalo akong handa sa gagawin ko if ever may gusto akong ninanais na gawin sa aking sosyedad. Kailangan mo ding makilala ng lubusan ang iyong sarili. Kung sino ka nga ba talaga bago ka makihalubilo kahit sang sulok man dyan sa iyong sosyedad. Kailangan lubusan mo munang kilala yung sarili mo. Yung ikaw talaga at ano yung intention mo. Bakit kailangan mo to at ganun? and so on, so forth. Pag sinabi mong sociocentric on, is concerned with one's own social group or it is socially dependent. O ngayon, 
kaya mo na ba buhayin sarili mo? Kaya, na mo ba, kaya mo na ba pakainin sarili mo? Di ba halos tayo lahat? Ha, di ba halos ikaw? Kayo? Especially pag nag-aaral ka pa ngayon, dependent ka masyado sa mama at papa mo. Because you do believe na sila yung makakatulong sa mga pangangailanganin mo araw-araw. Pagkain ng tatlong beses sa isang araw, kasama pang hindi pa kasamang snacks. Matrikula, naksyang kinakailangan mo para makapagpatuloy ka sa pag-aaral. E paano na lang pag may asawa at anak ka na? Ang prioridad mo ngayon kasi dependence na masyado sa'yo ay yung mga pangangailangan nila. Hindi yung barkada. Kaya as a student, try to reflect your status now. Kung saan ka nga ba talaga at ano nga ba talaga ang ginagawa mo upang malaman mo at matuklasan mo talaga ang katotohanan ng kahalagahan ng iyong pag bilang isang mag-aaral. Huwag mong sabihin, kaya mo na to, kaya niya yan. Hindi. Ikaw dapat mag-reflect. Ikaw dapat ang kukuha nito at ikaw dapat ang magpakitang gilas sa tamang pamaraan at sa tamang pag-uugali. Okay? Now, let's continue. The self-embedded in culture. Pag sinabi natin embedded in culture, yung kultura at yung sarili mo. Tandaan natin niya, the culture and your soul. Culture shapes how people see themselves. See? How they interact with others and how they interact with the environment. Paano mo nakikita yung sarili mo? Paano ka nakipaghalubilo sa iba? At paano ka nakipaghalubilo sa kaliklasan? Inalagaan mo ba yung sarili mo? Tama ba yung pagkikitungo natin sa kapwa-tao? E paano yung kalikasan? Nirespeto din ba natin? Kagayas pagrespeto natin sa ating sarili. Okay? So, if, that, if your answer is yes, then I saluted you. If your answer is maybe, then you need to work it hard. You need to work it hard para ma-achieve mo talaga yung goal natin. Nakilalanin ko yung sarili ko ng maigi kung paano ako makipaghalubilo at paano ako makikungo sa kakwa-tao ko. Lalong-lalong lalo na sa ating kanya-kanyang pamilya. At sa iyong minamahal. Aha. Huwag mo nang padalos-dalos. May ka ikaw din. Maipit ka. If one believes that the self is a product of society, it is reasonable to believe that the manner in which the self is produced are also influenced by cultural variations. So, paano siya na yung influensyahan? Una, the construal is an interpretation of something's meaning. The meaning of self in this context, ang meaning sa iya, sa, ang sarili para sa iyo, it's ito, ito, para sa kanya, iba. Do not force other. Do not persuade other na maniwala sa'yo. Ipakita mo lang na ito yung pinapakita ko. Huwag mong pilitin o ayaw. Mahirap na. Kailangan magkakaroon ka rin ng kalayaan para matiwasay sa iyong puso't isipan. Now, let's continue. How about individualistic culture? It emphasizes internal features, your abilities, your ideals, portraying the self as independent and distinct. O, di ba? Kaya mo nang panindigan yung sarili mo. Kaya mo nang tumayo sarili mo. Pa, ah. Kasi yun ang kinuro sa atin. Yun ang pinamala sa atin ng ating mga magulang. Kaya mo nang laba talaga. Uh -oh. Let's try. Always hook yourself in the reality. Hook yourself to the thing that you can achieve it easily. Do not hook yourself in the... In the to the impossible one. It's so hard for you to reach them out. Okay? According to Karen Catherine Rape view about culture, ito yung pananaw ni Catherine Rape. A develop, she is a developmental psychologist. Also, she do believe that culture can influence how you view your one, relationships. How you enter and maintain relationships influenced by your culture. Yung gaano tayo ka-close sa ating pamilya, gaano tayo ka-close kay mama at papa, kay atit kuyas, mga siblings mo, hanggang sa pagtanda mo, ganun pa rin kayo. Kasi napamana yun sa'yo. 
iyon ang pinagistan mo at nakikita mo. E pumasok ka ngayon sa relationship na hindi ka pahanda, hindi po alubusang kilala ang bawat isa sa inyo. Kalauna, napahamak ka. Kalauna, nagsisisik ka. Kalauna, nasasaktan ka. E sin- kanina, isisising ngayon ang nagawa natin. Do not blame others. Blame yourself. Blame ourselves. Kasi tayo ang pumasok, hindi yung iba. Ikaw ang may gusto nun, hindi sila. Pinahintulutan lang natin sila papasok sa buhay natin, papasok sa puso't isipan natin. Pero kailangan mag-mature din tayo on how we'll be able to deal with our relationships. Eh, kumusta yung relasyon mo sa pag-aaral? Kumusta yung relasyon mo sa mga asignatura? Kumusta yung relasyon mo sa pagkinig ng mga diskasyon at pagbasa ng mga dapat basahin para makakatulong sa pagpalago ng iyong relationship towards to your studies, towards to your chosen course, towards to your online classes, uh, and towards to yourself. At higit sa lahat, relationships towards to your respective individual families. Now the second one, personality, characteristics, or traits. Culture has an impact on whether and how you value your value characteristics such as humility, self-esteem, politeness, assertiveness, and others, as well as how you view suffering and how you feel about relying on others. Ito, pag-ugali natin pinag-usapan dito, mag, mag, yung kung paano mo nakikita yung self-esteem mo, either high or low. Yung pagpakumbaba, minsan polite, minsan nila tayo polite sa iba, polite lang tayo pag gustuin lang natin. Hindi tayo nag assert ng mga bagay-bagay kasi para sa iyo it's online classes lang yan. Langlangin lang natin ang mga bagay-bagay. Tanggalin natin yung ganyang klaseng pag-uugali. Ano po daw? Ano po raw? Ay, yun lang ba? Yun lang ba? Ah, ganun po ba? Huwag ganun. Assert the positive attitude. Be an optimistic in every endeavors that comes to your lives. Ma-academic man yan, ma-lovelight man yan, pero mas, ma- mas masarap pag kilalang kilala mo na yung sarili mo upang sa gayoy, lubusan mong matanasa ang totoong kaligayahan at, toong, at ang totoong pahulugan ng pagkaikaw bilang isang mag-aaral sa true online classes in this pandemic situation. Ang pangatlit has something to do with your achievement. Culture has an impact on how you define success and how you reward individual and group accomplishments. Masarap pag nagtagumpay ka, you are going to treat yourself. Kasi nalampasan mo lahat. Halimbawa, mag-set ka ngayon, kailangan makapasa ako sa oral recitation, pag sinabihan kang perfect score, then treat yourself as a form of reward. Pag nalampasan mo yung summer classes and then pasa ka lahat, and then, you must be happy. That is another accomplishment of your in divorce. You are deserving of a reward. Pero realistic naman, huwag yung imposible Do not demand anything to your parents kasi yung pinapakain pa lang tayo, binabayaran yung tuition fees natin, binibili yung gusto natin, ginagrant ni mama at papa yung pakiusap natin sa kanina. That's a, a great rewards already. Ang mahalaga ay yung totoong ikaw at kung paano ka namulat at nakipamuha, nakisalamuha sa mga taong nakapaligid sa iyo. The last part of Catherine's view about culture has something to do with emotional expression. Culture has an impact on what emotionally affects you as well as how you express yourself, such as whether you exhibit your feelings in public or keep them hidden. Pagalit ka, do not say anything kasi baka mamali yung masabi mo. Pag masaya ka naman masyado, 
Huwag ka muna magbigay ng conclusion, ng decision. Baka magkakamali ka rin sa bandang dulo. Kailangan neutral, kalmado lahat. Kailangan hindi ka gaano galit, hindi ka rin gaano masaya. Kailangan tamang-tama lang that you can modify everything. Pag galit ka sa minamahal mo, huwag mong idamay pamilya mo kasi sila yung true loves, mga true loves natin. Pag iniwalayan ka ng boyfriend at girlfriend mo, huwag mong idamay ang mga tao. Kasalanan mo yun. Pumasok ka ng relasyon, hindi ka pala, ka pala matured. Kapag nabagsak ka, nakakuha ka ng maliit na marka, huwag mong sisihin ang mga teachers. Kasama na doon si mama at papa mo kasi silang teachers mo rin. Sisihin mo rin sarili mo kasi hindi ka nag-aral, hindi ka nagsusumikap. Before blaming others, can you still remember? Mirror, mirror on the wall. May ginawa na ba ako sa sarili ko para hindi ako mapahamak sa aking akadem ko? Maraming salamat sa iyong pakikinig. Hanggang sa muli nating diskusyon, tandaan natin, anthropological view of self has something to do on how we'd be able to deal with our environment right now as human as we are. The next topic that we're going to talk is all about the psychological view of self. Magandang umaga. God bless us all. Allah bless us all. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.